If you want me to come to your house to kneel down, beg you. No big deal. I will enter my way. I shall come there. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Timmy Banjo. I'm a makeup artist, a beauty enthusiast, and a content creator in Lagos, Nigeria. Right here in Lagos, Nigeria. So from the title of this video, you should already know or you could guess what I'm about to say because this I've, I've procrastinated this video a very long time it has come a long way so I'm just explaining my experience on YouTube throughout the years I mean three years so and my growth how it has been stunted and so on and so forth and also please remember to subscribe it will mean the world to me if you hit the subscribe button please it's just a subscription Thank you very much. Enjoy the video. It's Timmy Banjo. If it's your first time here, you're very welcome. Please remember to hit the subscribe button. It will mean a lot to me. If you do subscribe to my channel, I mean, join the family already. We're growing. Be part of it. And if you're coming back here to watch me because you love me, I love you too. Okay. Thank you for coming back. What am I doing on this YouTube actually I don't know too but I know I like it here anyways the thing is it's not that serious okay I've been on YouTube for Three years, three, three, yeah, three years. I'm using Maybelline Fit Me Foundation for my full face now. I'm just going to use this flat foundation brush. This flat foundation brush to spread it on my face. So I've been on YouTube for three years, and obviously, you guys can see my growth. I've been hearing a lot about what's it called. I've been hearing a lot about oh, be consistent. You know, do what you are passionate about. Do what your your um what's it called? Your audience wants to see. Blah blah blah. Fam, I did everything. What I'm passionate about makeup consistency. I did it. There was a time I was having about three videos in a week, as in I was really consistent. But the thing I can say that happened about that time was that my content wasn't great. Because I was filming with a camera that wasn't so good and then I switched to my phone so I can say that my content wasn't great so probably it did not make people get um, attracted to me or attracted to my channel so maybe that's what happened then also apart from that I just realized that you you need to know where your audience is like you have you can be on Instagram crying and begging for subscribers from morning to your night and maybe at the end of the day just one person is going to subscribe to your channel like it gets so frustrating so again I'm using Maybelline Superstay I just I like a lot of coverage on my face so I just like building up my foundation uh, okay. So I'm going to use the um, Colourpop No Filter Concealer in shade I think Dark 46 to highlight my face. So as I was saying, I said, you know what, I'm just going to try this all over again. You know, there could be a thousand ways, there could be a thousand ways to this YouTube thing. So I tried just one, so why don't I try other ways? So I, um, I didn't delete my old videos i just made them private i only myself can see them so other people can't i still have them it wasn't smart for me to delete them so i made them private so i tried i started all over again and yeah here we are with the same snail growth the same frustrating 
and I don't even know. Like I've tried so many things because I was like, oh maybe they don't want to see makeup, maybe they want to see this, they want to see that. But who am I to judge? I don't know what you guys want to see, honestly. And I keep asking, oh, what do you want me to film? What do you want me to do this? Because I thought I was just doing things I wanted to do. That was why nobody was watching. So this time around, I felt, oh, let me ask. Because I can't just be making content. I think they want to see. So let me ask. And I ask. I usually get like small small response just once in a while and I, oh okay let me do this let me do that and then again maybe when i put out something on my instagram or i'm going to use my beauty sponge to blend out my concealer when i put out something on my instagram especially on my story or when i do something and people are like oh where did you get that oh what just when they ask when they ask about it I just feel, oh, that's it. Many people want to know about this thing. Oh, let me quickly film it. Maybe this can be the banger. Bangers. Nothing happened. You will still see them coming back to ask me in my Instagram. After I've given a full, full detail about what happened. Oh, this is it. The information, the address, the number, everything, the price. Give them the full detail. They'll still come to my Instagram. Oh, where is this? I'm like, go to YouTube and watch everything that happened. Ha! Huh. So people, I don't know. I know it takes a while to build up your audience, but then there has to be like a consistent growth rate you should be using to monitor, like a skill or like a yardstick you used to monitor oh i'm getting maybe 50 subscribers in one month or i'm getting maybe 20 but <sighs> like honestly i feel like i need to go to a market where they sell subscribers or where they sell views i'm just gonna drag them and say please follow me okay i forgot to contour these days i'm liking cream contour i'm using the bobby brown foundation stick in shade um, Expresso 10 to contour to contour the side of my cheek I'm going to use my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder to set the highlighted places on my face. So yeah, as I was saying, if you're wondering why I'm trying out new things or why I'm just putting content and you're not and you're not understanding my pattern and um I'm just putting today I put hair, tomorrow I put vlog, next tomorrow I put um this one and that one and you're wondering oh what's going on is she all right that's because i'm like trying new things i'm trying to see if people will respond to a particular content so i'll know whether i should build like a niche there or i should keep doing that or maybe do something around it i don't know who is understanding my english so if you're wondering what's going on i me too i'm wondering what's going on we're both wondering therefore that explains everything so i really want to know what you people want to see um like content wise i know these days you can't just be putting out makeup videos because who doesn't know how to do makeup by now i believe everybody knows how to draw their eyebrows put on eyeshadow or put foundation or something i just know that if it's a particular thing you're struggling struggling with struggling with if it's your eyelashes you, there are about a thousand videos on how to wear your eyelashes so people don't just go ahead to put out makeup videos these days they always build something around it so 
I'm thinking that's what I might start doing. Like I'll start putting out makeup videos, but there is going to be like something educating people or something. Like everybody wants to be educated these days. I don't want to call even I myself I don't want to come back to YouTube to be seeing things I've seen before. Like it's just like a repetition and for some weird reason I hate repetition. I don't like tautology, all this type of things. So yeah. I'm going to use my LA Girl powder in the shade cocoa to contour my height. To contour my jawline. This is like the best part of my makeup when I get to sculpt my face. To use my Mac Studio Finish Powder in shade NW15 all over my face. So, yeah, listen, we want to know, like, we creators, content creators, because it all boils down to making content for people. You have you, you can't just be putting out content you like or content you feel they want to see. You have to put out content people actually need, people actually want to see. That's the whole idea of creating content. And it, it has to do also with your creativity. So when you're putting out content, you have to be creative about it and make it look attractive. So that um, brands, companies, everything, you know, they get attracted to your content and that's how people make money i mean influencers that's how influencers make money when brands are attracted to your content and they see oh we want her to make content for us they get paid so, like a boomerang like we're helping each other to help each other we're helping using ourselves to help ourselves let me explain oh like me now influencer content creator you are in need of an info or you are in need of an idea you don't know how to do that or you are in need of a product you don't even know how to use it and i'm here a creative content creator a creative content creator yeah a creative content creator and i use my idea my skill my my camera to film my products everything i put up a content together and it makes a lot of sense and I put it out there and you are like oh yeah this is what I've been looking for meanwhile I've gotten paid to put that out so you, you, you are putting food on my table and I am giving you your idea the brand also is selling and everybody is happy I mean nobody is getting hot in this nobody actually so that's just the whole thing I'm going to use my Elizabeth Harding glow rose illuminator to add some glow to my face so at this point i'm just going to say help us to help you like the i don't know if it comes down to begging but <laughs> i don't even understand the game that's last i'll dust my certificate <laughs> i'm going to look for work but no i hope it doesn't get to that But to be very honest with you guys, like content creation is not easy, especially if you are doing makeup. Not that you just they just give you something and you just talk about it. Oh, here is the hardened beauty glow. You just put it on your face and it glows. No, you are actually being creative, looking for content that is going to make sense, content that people are going to relate to, and that is the whole idea of making it. Also, you have to edit and your editing has to be BAM because these days people are not joking with their editing. You see the way they edit. You think they were they went for um, Filmmaking class like it's So scary I'm going to go in with more glow from Anastasia So Hollywood Illuminator I'm going to go in with this blush from Zaran here. This blush here. These days, you even notice that people don't want to even pay. They just feel oh, they can send you their products and that's it. You get to use them and they are making their own money through sales, obviously. And the thing is, you have people following you, even if it's a if 
a hundred people that get to buy that product the thing is they make their own money and they don't want to pay you these days they just feel oh they can just give you i i'm not mixing this thing up but they just feel they can give you that product and you make content for them free they won't tell you what they want they'll say oh you want one video two posts and three story or whatever they shall mention everything and you're like well the video initially is hard work honestly you know the kind of mental preparation it takes like i said i always meditate before i start videoing like before i start filming because i'm like oh this is this this is that how is it going to be arranged and everything and all that sorry i like a lot of blush so. but yeah i'm not even angry or anything i'm just like like i said earlier it all boils down to the audience let's know what you want to see let us like you, you need to help us here we can't just be creating content and be thinking that oh we're doing the good thing you imagine a lot of energy a lot of sweat a lot of manpower that we have used to um create content and then nobody ends up watching it it's sad it's like our business is not moving help us please i feel like putting some sparklies shine shine sort of thing on my eyes like it kind of looks very dull for me i don't know i didn't know so yeah i've been on youtube for three years initially when i even began youtube it was out of passion like i didn't even know the whole market situation about youtube and how it works all those things it was later i i knew that people make money from youtube and then, oh, really in dollapo but here i am today i think the money i've made from the only money i've made from youtube <laughs> it's so embarrassing to say i don't know <laughs> okay let me just say the only money i made from youtube is seven cents yeah seven cents and that seven cents i never got it because initially when i started the policy for monetization and everything was was is different from now then i think you need to have about seven videos before you can monetize your video i monetize all my videos everything money 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 come on i monetize all my videos so through views and I, I had seven cents then later on it changed because people were stealing other people's contents and reposting them for views and everything people were just i don't know misbehaving and then the policy changed you need to have about 10,000 lifetime views you need to have about a thousand subscribers and some other things I um, can't remember and I am yet to meet that target and I'm like when am I going to start making money from this my business oh. it is well so I'm going to eventually put glitter on my eyes not everywhere this is the glitter I'm using, this chunky glitter with my super base from Ferrarushi. Yeah. That's beauty. Beauty. Although I know some makeup artists who have a dedicated viewers, like dedicated subscribers who will watch anything you put out. And I, I just feel they are so blessed to have like people who remain, um, who constantly come back to their channel, who constantly come back to view their content, e.g. Kiki Adams, she's a makeup artist in America and every time she puts out content she use um mostly makeup content because she's a makeup artist yeah she's always having her views and everything it goes on smoothly and someone like me because she's really really good i go back there to watch her videos so here you notice that it doesn't work like that for instance people don't want to straight watch makeup videos like i said earlier on and i don't get finding out what they want on the other hand is really really tiring especially with micro influencers 
applied my eyelashes off camera and now I'm going to go with this lip liner from Jordana in the shade Eggplant. Mm -hmm. This is like my all time favorite lip liner. It's like a brown shade, like a purple shade, like a very dark purple shade with a hint of brown. I'm going to go in my MAC lipstick in shade Honey Love. Oh, this is so pretty. I'm going to close this up with my Glam Girls lip gloss. It has a little glitters in it so I'm going to set my face with the Ferrari Prep and Prime Mist Set so guys this is the finished look I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know um, let me know the contents you like to see like I emphasize in this video Let me know what you want me Personally to put out and also other influencers especially micro micro influencers let 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 me know let us know what you want us to put out now I'm personalizing it Let me know what you want me to put out the content you like to see what you want me to do I mean I can do everything I can do hair makeup nails everything so let me know please please mem put that in the comment section down below and if you haven't subscribed i'm begging you please i take anything beg you please hit the subscribe button i mean it will mean a lot to me if you just subscribe to my channel thank you very much and i hope to see you in my next video thank you so much and bye Mwah.